best things uh, for us that we set out to do uh, is going to be our turnover margin, and we dedicate this day to that. Um, no real changes from our injury report uh, from yesterday. Brian Hill won't participate today, um, so that's the real change. So uh, get our first chance to demonstrate our commitment to the football this weekend, and uh, we're looking forward to it. So glad to open it up. Uh, yeah, Coach, could you uh, discuss getting Desmond back after missing the uh, 10 games down the stretch to have your, your top cornerback uh, right, coming back? Uh, it took a little while to get back all the rehab. He really put in the work, uh, and he came back. He looked great. The speed was exactly like you thought and that you wanted. So what makes him also so unique is we also play him at nickel. We play him on the right side. We play him on the left side. So those are things that, uh, that he does so well. But uh, he's had a, a terrific camp. He's really ready and strong, and uh, we're anxious to get him with the group. He is too. Doing something on uh, Steve Sarkeesian later on today. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, speaking with him, and, and I, I know you've talked a lot about his, you know, coming over, you know, joining. What was it like for you as a college coach, and, you know, coming to the pros? <laughs> that's, that's another question you've answered. Really sure. Times, the uh, the first time I did it, I was uh, in 2001. I went to the San Francisco 49ers, and it was a uh, like a fantastic spot for me to go into the NFL. Steve Marich was the head coach. Uh, Bill Walsh and Terry Donahue were there. Uh, it was just a, like a Bill McPherson, who was somebody that was really important to me, really helped me learn the NFL game. At that time, uh, for me, I really thought I had myself together football-wise, and I got there, I was like, I don't know anything about football. Uh, and then I went back to college, uh, so it was probably a bigger change for me going back to college after being in the NFL for, you know, for 10 years and then coming in. So for him, um, you know, he's had, you know, experience, you know, running college programs, you know, from a leadership standpoint there. And that would be a good question for him. I think you get so much time now with the guys to build these really strong relationships in the NFL, where in college you don't always get that. They have class and, you know, summer vacation and those kind of things that bring you away. So uh, for him, the transition's been good. He's closely followed, you know, pro ball, you know, for years and coached in Oakland. So he knew a rhythm of what a week would, would go like. Um, and during that time, they get coached Rich Gannon. So, from a quarterback standpoint in the NFL, I'd say Sark's pretty, uh, pretty fortunate. Well, he's a guy too coming in with you know with the talent he's got. It's not just a situation of don't don't screw this up. But he he brings a lot to the table. He does. What, what, yeah, how he can advance it. And uh, one of the real challenges that can you take a good thing and try to make it better. And that's the mindset that he went after. And when we went through the audit for the season, these are some things that we're doing really well. These are some things I think we can add to it. So it was kind of, uh, you know, we have fresh eyes on a new subject and you can look at it from a different point of view. That was actually really helpful for us. And uh, oftentimes us as coaches, especially in the NFL, you don't get to do that very often because in college you make a clinic with another college staff and you get to... Right on Allen, here's Neil dropping, hit it to the corner, got to get up high, all right, here comes Neesman, get up high, high point, oh. Now Clinton's warming up on Thursday. Facing the Chicago Bears on Sunday. Julio said he's ready to go.